Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Jazz and today I'm going to share with you how I did my DIY mirror wedding seating chart. It was actually so, so easy. I barely spent any money and I am bougie on a budget. So stay tuned. Come on, sit down. No eye boogies for the camera. Hello. So this is just a mirror that I've been having. I've had it for years. So if you just have a mirror in your house, that's a pretty good size. This is perfect for the seating chart. The mirror is just gonna be on a standing easel that's um, standing height so everyone can see it like that. Stay tuned. So I moved everything in the center, not on the side. So we'll go from here and I put every group of table on one paper so I have some wiggle room if I mess up. I'm just using some cardstock paper. It's a lot thicker, really nice, not see-through, so we're gonna print it on that. You can see this is a lot thicker than a regular paper. Here's my paper cutter and my double-sided tape. You can shop this in my Amazon affiliate link in the description. Say a little prayer and let's try this out. So we're gonna start with this at the top. That's the blade cutter. I'm gonna put it in. You wanna make sure this is flush against the bottom because if it was diagonal, even slightly, the line would be crooked. So there. Just go down and the blade cuts it. So you can choose how close and how far you wanna go. Bring the blade back up. To the bottom. Okay, I left the sides and I wanted to see what it would look like on the mirror and it actually it looks cute like this, but I think I do want to see more of the mirror, so I will cut the sides. Back at the top, making sure it's all the way down. We're still going to keep the top bigger, your seat of weights, and then the table is smaller. Back at the cutting board, just gonna chop these up and then we'll see what it looks like. So these, I'm gonna keep these big like this. So it can be distinguishable. I kept these cut big, these cut thin and smaller and bigger font for the top. And voila, you can see how simple and easy that was. This is not the finished product. I haven't cleaned the mirror yet and I haven't taped them down, but I will use double tape to tape them down. I didn't put the table and the names um, as the same paper, like on the same paper, mainly because I don't know where the tables are going to be located, like which table is the best seat for our immediate family and parents and brothers and sisters. So we want to know, you know, with the venue, which tables have the best seats. So once that's figured out, then I'm going to tape them down and deal with that. But look how bomb this looks already. All right, so I just took all the names off. We just had our wedding meeting. The next step is to clean this dirty mirror. This right here is the best glass cleaner ever out there in the world. It also cleans stainless steel very, very well. So this is better than Windex, you guys. You can shop this in my Amazon storefront. I'll link that in the description. You need a squeaky clean mirror for the tape to stick. And when I say streak-free, 
this is exactly what I mean literally this stuff is so 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 good all right so make sure you guys wash your hands nice and clean hands less oil on the mirror I'm going to rearrange them into the place where I think I want them to go and then once they are in all the positions that they need be, that's when I'm going to tape them down. Yes, so I think this is where I'm going to tape everything down. Let me tell you the reason why I have it like up and down, up and down, you know, kind of all over the place. So some of the tables have eight people, some have six, some have seven. There was no way for me to make it look equal with like these names and then a small amount of names. So it's meant to have that look of like distortion. I think it looks great. It has its own little flavor. So. If you are one of those people who love everything like picture perfect, you can see that I kind of eyeball things. I just eyeballed where I wanted this to go. I eyeballed cutting it, but when it's together and whole, it looks beautiful. And no one can tell something is like a millimeter longer than the other side. The not so fun stuff. Here we have our double sided tape and let's get going sure it's on the whole thing I'm gonna get everything all over I'm gonna make sure the edges are got really well so just making sure the tape is on the whole perimeter Okay, everything's taped up. Just sprayed some glass cleaner on my napkin and then we'll just spot clean any little fingerprints in between. And I'm going to bubble wrap this. Yes, I can really say that I'm bougie on a budget because you guys, look how classy this looks and I barely spent money making this. It wasn't too hard and it looks beautiful it's classy it's gonna look gorgeous on the easel can't wait to see what it looks like on the day of all right and it's all bubble wrapped and ready to go it's very fragile so you want to make sure that she gets on her way to the venue nice and safely. I will also link the bubble wrap in my wedding section in my Amazon storefront. Alright, so I will link everything from Amazon in the description in my Amazon storefront so you guys can shop everything there. I have all my wedding finds, fashion finds, beauty, furry friend, home stuff, everything in between. It'll be in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, share this video with a bride or bride-to-be, and you know what? You can have nice things and keep your money in your pocket. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it.